It's a pile of balls. If you had told me this morning when I woke up that I would be playing a game published and developed by Konami without having to pay for it, I'd look at you in a daze with drool running out of the corners of my mouth, and I go, What? That's right, folks. The people that have brought you this and this and all of these are back again. And before you grab your pitchforks, no, it's not another pachinko machine. It is a free-to-play battle royale. That's right. Konami has put out Super Bomberman R Online. You know, Konami and EA have been really freaking me out lately, acting weird putting out games on platforms that people actually like letting people try the game before charging them sixty dollars plus a, a um, season pass or whatever weird weird times They're out here wiling i used to be able to p predict exactly what was going to happen whenever these companies names were mentioned but these days i'm not so sure Anyway, someone from Konami must have gotten tired of Nintendo making headlines every time a Battle Royale game came out because this is a 64-player online experience. And if you take a look, you'll notice that there aren't exactly 60 people on screen. And that is because the other 60 players are each on their own separate maps that are connected to each other in between rounds so you'll start with your standard bomberman format four players trying to take each other out and if you manage to survive the battle phase you'll be able to go to different maps that are connected by these um, ladders on the sides and when the next battle phase fights or battle phase starts whatever people land in the same map as you is who you'll face for that portion of the game. So I personally have no particular love for the Bomberman series. It was always a, a game that I would play over at a friend's house. So when I saw that this was the game that was gracing Steam this morning, I wasn't exactly, you know, cracking my fingers and stretching. Um, I'm familiar enough with the Bomberman to know him and its characters when I see it. But that's really about it. It's not my first pick for games that I'm uh, going to rush out and play in a competitive sort of capacity. Which means that I'm not particularly good at Bomberman, as you'll see in the footage. But it is a functioning working game that anyone can just go pick up and play and I know you're probably at this point wondering go ahead and show me that big old juicy butt and yes there is a drawback to all of this if you want to play with your friends the only way to do that is to purchase the game's quote unquote premium which is 15 US dollars and I have a couple of theories as to why they're doing this particular style of monetization. From what I understand, you only pay the $15 one time, but I think the reason for it is one, it's about how much they would charge you for your standard Bomberman game. So this way it's like you pay them $15 the one time and you have uh, a Bomberman that you can play with your friends. You don't need to put together 64 people, obviously, so you can play it like a standard game of Bomberman. And because it's a quote-unquote microtransaction, I don't think that you can refund it. Again, don't quote me on this. This is just me theory crafting here, but this is one of those purchases where it's like no backsies, unless you live in like the state of California or some other place where they are legally obligated to give you a refund. So a lot of people are going to drop the $15, and if 
Later down the line, Konami, who has complete and total control over this project, decides to do something that you disagree with, then there's nothing that you can do about it. You're not getting your money back. That's why I think that they're doing it this way. Another uh, big drawback is you can uh, put together, you know, the Battle Royale type 64 people room, but you can't connect with your friends and also connect with strangers at the same time. You can only do one or the other. So you're either matchmaking with random people or you're just playing with your friends. There's no mixing between the two, which is something that a lot of people in the reviews on Steam are blasting the game about. But that seems like a kind of minor thing. I'm pretty sure that there are tons of other normal Bomberman games that you can go play if you want your typical Bomberman experience. Like, I don't, I don't think that this is going to hurt anyone. So with all of that out of the way, we can talk a little bit more about the game. Um, a lot of the, I guess, iconic Bomberman characters are there. As you play and earn points through, you know, the various actions in the game, you can unlock cosmetics. There are some cosmetics that are exclusive to the premium, of course, and there's some sort of battle pass, um, obviously. But, yeah. Customize what they kind of look like, what they're wearing. In my first match, I was put up against a Fall Guy bean, and somebody had, like, the Five Nights at Freddy's Fox costume on, which was something that I, I mean... It's like, what? That's a weird collaboration if you ask me, but eh, whatever works. This was one of those releases that really snuck up on me because, and I imagine a lot of other people, because one, nobody's really talking about it yet, and two, why would they? People have stopped following Konami since they kind of stuck a knife in the back of Metal Gear Solid. So no one's really been following what they've, what Konami's been up to. So this is a kind of out of left field release. So let me know down in the comments below if it is a welcome release, if it's something that you'd be interested in playing. And also I'm curious, do you think that it's too late for Konami to kind of fix their reputation? Uh, for me personally, that answer's an absolute, totally. They've killed Castlevania, Metal Gear Solid, I feel like there's another series that they pile drives into a grave, but I can't think of it right now. But yeah, that's what I want to talk about down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video, which I was actually working on before I put out, I started working on this, because I needed to get this out as soon as possible. This is the peak of striking while the iron is hot. Like, the iron can't get any more hot. <laughs> anyway, see you guys in another video. Bye.